What is going on everyone? My name is Soul Lives and lately I just keep getting the same message every single day for the past couple of months now. And even though there's a tutorial out there, plenty of tutorials out there on how to do this, um, I just keep getting the same message. So basically that is how do you download Minecraft the Xbox 360 maps and also how do I get my Minecraft Xbox 360 map from my console onto my computer so I can send it to people. So I'm going to give you guys a in-depth tutorial which is going to be really simple and quick and I'm going to even give you guys some websites on where you can upload your maps to um, you know so people can download them just like you would get it off um, YouTube so what you want to do is once you have your map saved you just want to go to system on settings and then you want to go to storage so make sure you have a USB drive guys that's a flash drive if you didn't know and it can be any gigabyte it can be two gigabytes or higher I just have a um, I got two four gigabytes in and I have five and all. So right now, as you see, you just go to your memory unit. And also make sure if you haven't already configured your USB drive to your console, um, you gotta do that before you even, you know, save your Minecraft map. So once you do that, um, you know, have it saved. So if you have it saved on your hard drive and your Xbox 360 hard drive, only thing you gotta do is just go to Minecraft, find the map, and you know, just transfer it. So you'll go to um, move. And you know, just change it to your memory unit. So once you have your map on your flash drive, like I have right here, as you will see, these are um, some maps, just three random maps. Um, I actually did a let's play on that, and I just did a let's play on that, so I should have that up before I even have this video up. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, once you have your map on your uh, memory unit, now you will take out your flash drive and you will plug it into your computer, and will the uh, move over to the computer so I'll see you then alright so now we are back on the computer guys and I'm gonna show you how to get the flash drive from your uh, from your flash drive and onto your computer so what you want to do is you want to download either of these two programs which is Mario or Horizon and these are pretty known in the gaming community for like modding your game saves and single player mode for Grand Theft Auto 4, Red Dead Redemption or you know any other games like that so what you want to do is you want to download either one program. It doesn't matter. I'm sure how to do it with both because I know some of you guys might download Mario and some of you might download Horizon. So let's start off with Horizon first. So once you open up, it should be prompted like this. And you want to come over to the right where it says Device Explorer. Click on these two arrows and you should see your flash drive. So make sure your flash drive is plugged in. And you want to click on your flash drive and you should see some other folders. You want to click on Games and then you want to click on Minecraft. And you want to find the map that you would like to extract that you want to share with your friends or other people. So for me, I'm just going to use Temporon as a example. And you want to click on Extract File. And you want to extract it to anywhere on your computer. So for me, I'm going to extract it to my desktop. And just like that, that's how you get your mouse from your flash drive onto your computer. I'm I told you it was going to be simple and easy as that. So now I'm going to show you how to do it with Mario. And it, as I said before, it's the same concept. It's just two different modern programs, really. So what you want to do is you just want to click on Explore My Device. <coughs> Sorry about that. My voice is um, cracking up. But you want to click on Explore My Device, Save in Profiles. You want to click on your name, not Downloads, but your name right here. For me, it's Soul Lives. And then you want to click on Minecraft. Click on this folder again. And you should see some maps. So find your map and just right-click it and extract so it's the same process really um, they're just two different modern programs that do different stuff so once you have that now what you want to do is you want to upload it to a media file a media um, website where you can share with other people or just share with certain friends for me I use media fire since it's like one of the um, best websites out there really I mean you can use other websites as well but I just seen it just to me seems like media fire is the best so what you want to do is you want to make sure you create an account with them. It's really simple. Just create an account. Then you want to go to upload. And then you want to click on from computer. Click on this plus sign. And find the file where you just extracted from your flash drive. For me it was Temporal v 2 You want to click on open. And you will see it right here. And it's like 1.85 megabytes. So it should upload quick. And just like that it's done. So what you want to do is you want to copy on the link. And just in case you do forget it, just click on this little arrow right here and just click on copy link just in case you forget the link. 
so once you do that you just you know um, create the video or share it with a friend or send it to somebody who you want to who you want to showcase it and just you know paste it in and bam it pop up just like this as you can see Temple Run V2 by Origins download and that's about it so now I'm gonna show you guys how to download other people maps because this is like the same process but it's a little bit different and this is important this is very important because a lot of people make a mistake on this part so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my YouTube channel just download a um, regular map from one of my Minecraft Awesome World download videos let's see how many minutes oh three minutes alright it's going by pretty quick I hope I'm not rushing too much for you guys <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna click on. Um, nah, it really doesn't matter. Sorry about this, my computer's going a little slow for some reason. I'm gonna click on this right here, this skyscraper. Alright, so a lot of people say, How do you download maps from my videos? Just click on show more. I mean, that's pretty simple. Just click on show more and go down, you should see download. So once you click on that, it'll say enable or whatever the name of the map is just click on download and once you download it it should be right here at the bottom so there we go it's downloading and once it download we're gonna open up horizon now I'm gonna show you how to well yeah I'm gonna show you how to do it with both again just in case some of you guys I don't wanna you know <laughs> look at the comment concession saying um I still don't get know how to do it with Mario and I really don't want to make a remake remake of this video all right so once you have it um, downloaded once you downloaded the map that you would like to put on your Xbox 360 what you want to do is you want to grab this you want to grab the map and you want to put it in horizon so I'm starting off with horizon first as you can see there goes the map that I just downloaded right there and next what you want to do is you either want to make sure you have your account on your flash drive or any other maps that that's actually yours and what you want to do is you just want to put that in the reason why is this because if you notice um you'll see you'll see something where it says profile ID and device ID now you must change up these two things right here or it's not gonna work you won't be able to play on these maps and that's where a lot of people mess up at they'll just download the map and forget to change out the profile ID and the device ID and they wonder why why it's corrupted and why I can't play on the map so right here as you can see um this is actually my own profile id and content id so i'm just going to copy it paste and as you notice it just changed the picture to my profile id so that is why you want to change it um change it out and next you want to um copy the device id and paste it you don't have to worry about the console id um i never had any problems with that i just you know leave it the same and once you do that, you just want to click on save, rehash, and resign. I do it twice just to be on the safe side. So do it. I click on it twice. Yep. And after that, you know, you're done. Next, what you want to do is if you want to put it on your flash drive, just go to the um, little arrow, double arrows that I told you about, and click on inject new file. Now I'm going to go to downloads. I'm gonna find a download of it. Um, it was enable bin, something like that. Let me stretch it out a little bit more so I can see it. Um, oh, there we go. Enable flat land, and as you will see, it will say select a profile for this saved game. There go my profile, and I will either click on use this profile, or skip this skip, and I'm just gonna click on use this profile, and you should see it loading on the flash drive and you should get a message so it'll say transfer complete the following package was successfully transferred transfer to your flash drive click on OK and after that you can take out your flash drive and put it in your Xbox 360 and you're done so now I'm just going to show you how to do it with Mario as I said before it's the same thing nothing really different but you know just in case some of you guys might be complaining saying um, you need to show how to do it for Mario Cause I might even I know <laughs> for a fact that I might get that comment. So, uh, with this with Mario, you can't just drag the map and put it on there for some reason. It won't do that. So you actually got to go to open and save, downloads, and enable flat band. There we go. Open. And once that, you want to go to you want to open up your on save. So for me, it was the temper run. 
I'm just going to desktop because that's why I saved it. Temporon, Temporon, Temporon. There we go. And as you will see here, I'm going to copy the profile ID. Copy. Paste. Copy. And paste. And after that, you just click on Rehash and Resign. Like I said before, I do it twice just to be on the safe side. And after that, you just click on Save to Device. There goes my profile. Click it and select. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. But yeah, that's basically that's how you download and upload Minecraft as part of system maps. It's simple as that. And if you found this video very helpful, then you know, comment below. And I have plenty of time to spare. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I helped out a lot of people. I'm pretty sure I did because I know a lot of you guys have been asking me how to do this. So, you know, here we go. I finally got this video out for you. And, you know, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more Minecraft tutorials. So yeah, I'm out. This is your boy Solis. Peace.